So over here, you can see that I have some charts right here. Let's say, for example, here you can see total right here. But what you don't need to do is just uh, stick to whatever data name that has been imported out of Google Sheets or any other data source. What you can simply do is if you want to change out the name, you can go around over here and near the metric, you can see the pen icon. You can click on this and here you, what you can do is you can rename it to however you want. So I'm just going to go around and say total sales right here, just like this. So let me just type in total sales and you can see that this is what you have right here. Similarly, you can go around over here and uh, instead of totals right here. So let's say I'm going to go around and say total sales per console right here, just like this. So you can see that you can be very specific uh, even if the data source is the same right here. So you can see that you can go around and instead of console, let's say what I want to do is change it to game console list right here. And you can see that it changes it out accordingly. We can also choose the type right here, as you can see, and add in different things, as you can see, uh, just like this. But we're going to uh, look up, uh, around over that in further lessons. And that is how you can add in custom names to uh, the fields inside of Google Data Studio. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.